Welcome back everyone, the game we are playing is Fellowship of the Ring and we have just concluded our visit to Tom Bombadil so let's be on our way or should we... no I thought they wanted to talk to me first but no I think we have to fight some wolves along the way here first before we get to the Barrow Downs as it's called The hope is with me. I have no idea, and I'm I'm not sure whether to interpret this massive fog as um, something intended. Oh, it has to be intended from the game. Here's a wolf. Where are the other hobbits? Just. Hip in. Oh, and there. There's Sam and Mary. Okay. Let's carry on. Yeah, I really need mushrooms in this game. Oh, another wolf. Okay, it completely ignored me. It has the munchkins for Sam, apparently. For those, if I was a wolf, I probably would eat Sam first, too. Another wolf. Tom is cautious about this place. Yeah, it is kind of ominous. I'll give you that. We're not far from the main road, by my reckoning. Splendid. If we keep this pace, we'll leave the Barrow Downs by sunset tomorrow. Not soon enough for my liking. I don't trust what's hiding in the fog on the Barrow Downs. <laughs> you don't believe stories about old dead Barrow Whites. Not until today. But Tom said otherwise. Tom is the only one not affected by the ring. I wonder why. He was here before the Dark Lord came from outside. Outside what, I wonder? And whatever did he mean by eldest? And why didn't he serve bacon? Or cutlets? Or sausages? I don't like spending the night among these burial stones. They look like giant teeth coming up from the ground. If half the stories I've heard about the Barrow Downs are true, we'll need to keep a careful watch. Enough storytelling. Let's get to sleep. Sam? Mary? <laughs> Pippin? Where are you? That was sudden. Where could they be? Sam? Mary? Anyone? Where are you? Oh, come on. I thought we did this already. Uh... I'm just gonna save for now actually in case there's a crash which there is a lot of in this game I mean I try to edit out the crashes but sometimes I just can't fog here is quite thick indeed oops no please I think I prefer not to fight you if I can avoid it is this even where the... Uh, Alright... Well, at least I'm getting a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> oh crap, I have the whole Barrow Downs after me. Maybe I should have taken another way. Oh crap. Ooh. I really can't stop now. Thankfully they're not able to pursue me that well. 
If they were, I would be a goner. Okay, so this is where I started from. Let's take a left here instead to see what happens then. Or is that where I came from? Maybe I can't go back this way. This is pretty confusing. Let's try again. Or was that the way? Okay. <laughs> yeah, probably not the best idea. Let's just revert back to last saved. Yes, please. For some reason, if you go down there, the this place is auto kills you or whatever. I guess this is the only path. The fog here is quite thick indeed. Path option we have. Yeah. It feels like I've already been here though. Can I go up here? No, doesn't seem like it. Oh, uh, I have no memory of this place, as Gandalf would have said. Oh, am I gonna die now? No? Man, I feel like I'm just running around in circles here, which I probably am. Probably someone who's played this game watching going, why aren't you taking the right way right now? But I can only apologize for my stupidity. Uh, is this the way? No. Oh, <sighs> no, please. I would prefer not to fight you. Just because I'm not even sure that my stick has much much of a chance against you. Well, this place is new. Hang on. This seems good. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna continue. What's up here? They did a pretty good job at designing this in a confusing manner, I have to say. Oh, something's happening. Sam, Mary, wake up, all of you! I've got to set them oh, free. Damn. Get them out of here. It'll take a special weapon to stop this thing, if anything can. Uh, okay. Oh. Yeah, I remember having something in the chest there. Western East Dagger, can I equip that somehow? Yes, it seems to be. Oh, I have to, I have to eat mushrooms. Is, I think this is a boss, actually. I seem to remember, can I just throw stones at him? No. <laughs> I seem to remember someone encountering someone talking a bit about Lord of the Rings saying you could throw stones at him. Uh, or this game, I mean. 
Oh no, I think... What if I... Oh... Yeah, I, I remember some kind of... Cowardice tactic of using the ring. I don't have much power left though to use the ring with. Why didn't we listen to Tom? Uh Perhaps Tom is near. Oh Tom Bombadil, <laughs> Tom Bombadil, oh. By water, wood, and hill, by the reed and That's the terrifying. Wind, by fire, sun, and moon, hearken now and hear us. Come, Tom Bombadil, for our need is near us. Well, Nervous friends, singing. Old Tom has answered your call. Get out, old white vanish in the Jesus, sun. his I face. Like the cold mist, till the world is mended. Out into the barren lands, far beyond the mountains. Come never here again, leaguer barrow empty. Lost and forgotten. Be darker than the darkness where gates stand forever shut till the world is mended. Thank you, Tom. The spell on this barrow lies broken, and no white shall ever come back to it. I've scattered the barrow's treasures, they're free to all finders. Old Tom has taken a pretty toy for his lady, and here are some fine blades for young hobbits who go walking into dark and danger. It's perfectly clean. Untouched by time. Yes, thank you again. They were forged long ago by the men of Westerness across the sea in ancient Numenor. They cast spells on their blades for the bane of the Dark Lord. Their kings of Numenor are forgotten now, but their sons wander in loneliness, guarding simple folk from wicked things. I wonder if this blade can hurt one of the Black Riders. Old Tom shall see you safe over the borders of his land. From there you should travel to Bree, a fair village. Stay the night at the Prancing Pony Inn. Fair advice. Lead the way. Ready to follow Tom, Indeed. then? The further we are from the barrows, the better. Let us speak. So in this version, way. it's Tom who advises him to of the barrow downs go to Bree. Hmm. The hillside village of Bree, home to both hobbits and big folk. We said goodbye to Tom and entered Bree, seeking a warm fire and a door between us and the night. At last, we found a cheerful inn with the sign of the Prancing Pony. All right, sounds familiar. We surely aren't staying in this inn, are we? Why not? Tom recommended it. I thought we might see about staying with some of the Bree hobbits. It'd be more home-like. Oh, Sam. This is as good as an inn back home. Just a lot larger. The larger the inn, the larger the meals. Don't worry, Sam. This will be fine. Maybe Sam can find a tater patch to sleep in. I'll make arrangements with the innkeeper while you three find something to eat. And remember, from now on, my name is Mr. Underhill. Right. Come on, Sam. Pippin. Uh, goodbye, Mr. Underhill. Right, so we're in the Prancing Pony now. Let's see. Is there anyone here? This is... Very empty. I like the details though, and I like how you feel very small in the inn as a hobbit. Is there no one in this inn? Can I enter any doors? No? I heard some laughing from over here. Man, this is as much of a maze as... Oh, here we go. Here. Okay, well, here's where everyone's hiding. Let's talk with Hello. some people. I'd like to give you a word of advice, young hobbit. Oh? There are some dangerous folks about tonight. I hope you stay safe. I'm sure I will. So do I. Enjoy your stay. Well, he was a friendly fellow. Hey! What do you want, fatty? Excuse me? Why don't you go stand by the fire with the rest of the children? Bill Fernie's trying to relax. Well, he wasn't so nice. Oh, this guy. I don't like you hobbits much. Go away. All right then. Hello there. Nolly, at your service. Pleased to meet you. My name is Underhill. And how do you find Bree, Underhill? Is it to your liking? It is pleasant enough, though it isn't the Shire. 
or the kingdom under the mountain, I'll wager. You know of Erebor? How I miss my distant home. Soon I shall return there. Once my business in the West reaches its conclusion, I will be glad to be among my folk again. Good fortune to you, Nali. And to you, good Underhill. May your shire be ever green and fair. How nice. He Here's should have come here long ago. Good food and excellent drink. Don't get too comfortable. Things could change. I'll worry about that when the time comes. Until then, I shall rest my weary feet and enjoy the local hospitality. I still don't like the look of this place. We'll be gone soon enough, Sam. Don't worry. That is my worry if you follow me, sir. We'll be gone. Gone for good. All right, well, he literally is an elephant in the room here, and now we get a cutscene. Pleased to meet you. My name is Underhill. Is this your first time in an inn, Mr. Underhill? No, that is to say, it's my first time in this inn. <laughs> I see. Well, if you're planning on staying here, you should check with the innkeep. Wait too long and you'll be sleeping in the stables. Right. Thank you for the advice. All right, so we've chatted a bit with Strider. Where is the manager? It's crazy. Barliman. Oh, here he is. Hello. I'd like to... Half a minute, if you please. Nob, where are you? With customers. Step lively. Now then, good evening, little master. Barliman Butterbur at your service. What may you be wanting? Room for four, please. You're from the Shire, from the sound of you. We don't get many from the Shire nowadays. Shire. Now, what does that remind me of? Might I ask your name? Mr. Underhill. I'm run off my feet with all these travellers tonight. There's a crowd in the house tonight as there hasn't been in long years. Lucky you're a hobbit. That's the only kind of room we have left. Here's your key then. Nob! Nob, you woolly-footed slow coach. Where are you? Here, sir. Here I am. Where's Bob? Find him double sharp. He's got some ponies to stable straight away. I'll get right on it, sir. You'll excuse me, sir, but I've a party of dwarves to tend to, and all these strangers coming up the greenway from the south. Busy days, these. Okay. We've checked in at the Prancing Pony. I don't think we can go outside yet. What are we supposed to do again? Check around if something has changed. No. Well, this appears to be the Hobbit rooms. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Fireworks that only a wizard could make. <laughs> oh, Bilbo starts a long, boring speech, but he has a trick up his sleeve, <laughs> or in his pocket. Mister Underhill, I'd stop ever. your friend from talking if I were you. <laughs> so Bilbo says to the 144 hobbits at the party, "You are one gross of hobbits." <laughs> Everyone's so offended, they don't see his hand go into his pocket. You'd better do something so quick. People of Bree, thank you for your gracious reception. <laughs> Let's have a song. And wait, 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 I'm getting to the good part. Very well then, a song. There is an inn, a merry old inn, beneath an old grey hill. And there they make a stew so brown that the man in the moon himself flew down at night to eat his fill. Uh, uh, oh. Where did he go? Sorcery! Ah. Conjurer's trick, that's all. <laughs> right, and a fine trick it was. What you did was worse than anything your friend could have said. It was an accident. I want a word with you somewhere quiet. Hello. Who are you? Uh, what do you want? <laughs> you drunk. Strider, and if what I say is helpful to you, I want you to take me with you. I would not agree to any such thing until I knew a lot more about you. Excellent. You seem to be coming to your senses again after your accident. I beg in your pardon. I need a word. Everyone in this place needs a word. I remembered. 
what it was I forgot. What? About a Shire Hobbit named Baggins, but called Underhill. Who told you this? Gandalf the Wizard. He asked me to send this letter to you in the Shire, but I forgot. I expect he'll turn me into a block of wood. Dear Frodo, bad news. You must leave for Rivendell before the end of July. Do not wait for your birthday. I will meet you if I can, or follow you if I can't. You can trust the ranger called Strider, but make sure he's the real Strider. His true name is Aragorn. I am Aragorn, son of Arathorn, and if by life or death I can save you, I will. I thought I would have to persuade you without proof, but my looks are against me. I believed you, or I wanted to. The enemy spies look fair, but feel foul. While you feel fair... But look foul? <laughs> Hold on. Where's Mary? He's still not back from his walk. Stay here. I'll find him. Oh yeah, now we get to play as Aragorn. Who uh, looks a bit different than Figo Mortensen. Um, I mean, it has to be said that, you know, I, I love different interpretations of, of Tolkien's story, but I think um, the Peter Jackson versions, the, one of the main, uh, or the best parts, I think, or one of the best um, castings has to be Viggo Mortensen as, as Aragorn. He, he just really set the tone for that character, so anything after him is kind of like... Oh, did the game crash? Uh, I think it did. Alright, we're back again after, <laughs> again, another game crash. So I had to redo Sorry, all of the Barrow the Downs. All closed off. I got to get him clean before the boss has my hide. Alright. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember we have to get hay later, I think. So that's why we can't get it at the moment. Or something. Oh yeah, oi. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oh, there's a shady guy. What do you want, long shanks? None of your concern, horse thief. What? You gonna call me a horse thief? I already have. Now be gone. You've stuck your nose in the wrong place. I've seen you talking to the Shire Rats. You want the reward for Baggins all to yourself. But you won't get it. Oh, this is quite different to be fighting with compared to Frodo Baggins. Oh. Have at you. Aragorn isn't messing around. Oh, here's Merry. There you are, Mary. Who are you? They call me Strider. I am a friend of Gandalf. Very well, friend. What should we do now? Return to the inn and find your friends. Tell Butterbur to lodge you in my quarters. What about you? I think it's time to throw these enemies off the scent. Beg your pardon? I'm going to collect some items to make decoys of you hobbits. You'll see. You must come with me. I'll see you safely back to the inn. I do appreciate it. These streets have suddenly become rather unfriendly. Come along. What? Wolves? <laughs> That's a bit extreme, isn't it? Can I hit the wolf? I think I'm hitting it. Yeah, I did. Oh. Oh, damn. Mary is getting... I didn't see that wolf. Okay, so now we needed clothes and such. Oh, here's a quest log, okay. Um, clothes, melons, hay bolster, and small logs. Sounds like a weird shopping list. Oh yeah, there's that guy who set up the wolves. Hold! What are you doing out here? That's my business. It's my business now. You'll beg to tell me after my friends work you over. All right. 
What? Even more wolves back there? Oh, poor Mary. I can't even see where I'm firing. This aim system is really terrible. But I think I'm hitting him. He has lots of arrows in him anyway, so that's a good sign. That's a nifty move. But for a chubby guy, this guy is quite resistant to pretty much any sort of violence. Okay, I got Lembus, but I assume he died. These small lords right. will give my decoys convincing arms and legs in the dark. I doubt the gatekeeper will miss them. Well, yeah, Aragorn, you just killed him, so... He's a bit... <laughs> it's a bit of a dark Aragorn, isn't it? I don't suppose there was anything where we got Merry, no. Oh, what's this? Cram. Something's glittering over there. Is it clothes? Or something? These rags, rags will make my decoys more convincing. Oh yeah, well I guess that is clothes then. <laughs> I just thought it would say clothes then, but no. Now we just needed that hay, which I guess we get at the uh, stable that we ran past earlier. Uh, I should... Oh. Oh, there's two people here. Talk, you little mouse! Talk or I'll make you squeak. I don't know, no baggins. I swear it. Little Mousy's about to get his airy foot in a rat trap. Bold words for a filthy orc son of Mordor. Ah. Orc I'll son. make you squeak too, wanderer. Oh, these guys look like they're pretty tough. Oh, but so is Strider. in this game is dreadful, it has to be said. Okay, well, I could use some cram. Oh, that, that did help quite a lot. I don't think the bow does a lot of damage. N not that it should when I only seem to be hitting the chubby guy's shield. Oh, I don't want to be caught in between there. That is the worst parrying ever, he's just standing there. Oh. Is this really all there is to it? Just oh, there we go. Oh yeah. I owe you my life, Mister. Those men from the south—they were out to kill me. Find safer quarters. There may be more of those men about. Right, you are, sir. Them dirty horse stalls can wait. Okay, and there's the hay. Let's just save before we do anything. Here we go. This hay will help fatten my little decoys. <laughs> he says everything with such an evil genius voice. Okay, can we return now? Collect melons. Okay, there's that left. Uh, well, we haven't been over here, so is it a wild guess to assume that? Oh, there's a a melon. Uh, these melons will make fine substitutes for hobbit heads. Sounds are perverse. Convincingly in the dark. Ooh, don't want to be getting killed. Die. Yes. There's some cram bread. I should probably cram that in me, if you know what I mean. Oh, maybe I should have saved that lemon spread. It seemed to be very good for my health. Oh well. Prancing Pony. Alright. 
Oh, here's a cutscene. What a day this has been. I can barely keep my eyes open. Black Riders, I hope this plan works. You should sleep, all of you. I'll keep watching the night. We leave at dawn. Where will we go? Toward Rivendell. But not by the main road. Ah, I should have known. More shortcuts and long delays. The last time we tried that, we were almost eaten by a tree. My shortcuts don't go wrong. Oh. Early the next morning, I led the four hobbits safely out of Bree and into the troll-haunted wilderness beyond. We approached the hill that the elves call Amon Sul and that men call Weathertop. Alright, well I think that's enough for now, so thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time.